Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Uh, now we go to Chad Johnson. He's getting funky. 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 Chad is the host of OMG Craft and Read It Up. And Gizwiz. And Gizwiz. And he has the Funk KB460 mechanical keyboard. Yeah, so this keyboard uh, is one in a long line of keyboards that has fully mechanical keys. Uh, these are really, really uh, desired when you're gaming or you do a lot of typing. Uh, it's there. Here, let me make sure I'm, gonna, I'm not going to type on anything uh, that I don't want to type on. Oh, so it's hooked up to your laptop. It's hooked up oh, to my yeah. laptop because I wanted to show off the backlit keys. So uh, you can see that these are backlit. Ooh, and a nice pretty red backlighting. Yeah, and uh, also back behind that backlighting, <sighs> there is some red uh, behind each individual key, oh, which I is like kind of nice. That, uh, that the, the board back there is, uh, is also backlit. Um, these are Cherry MX red switches, so they give a nice tactile click when you start to type. Ah, it sounds nice. Yeah, it feels really <laughs> nice. It sounds nice. Obviously, if you're if you're in a studio like us, uh, or yeah. you you know record video games for YouTube like I do, uh, this is going to be too loud <laughs> to do something like that. Uh, but hopefully, this won't annoy your neighbors if you're in an office. Uh, uh, too too much. But if you're writing a book at home, right? Don't a book mind at the home. noise. That's or really you're programming. Really, uh, programming. That's right. the way to go. Absolutely, it's, they feel really great. Every single key is mechanical, including the function keys, the home, uh, delete, insert, end keys, and the numpad. All of the keys are mechanical. Sometimes uh, keyboards will skimp on some of the less used keys. Um, uh, backlight has, uh, for me, uh, I found that it had four different uh, variations, full bright, sort of a medium, uh, low bright, and then an off. Uh, they say that it has seven? Maybe I have a different version? Um, but anyway, four, four different uh, variations of uh, user-selectable backlighting. Um, there's a few functions as well. There is uh, the funk function, which basically <laughs> turns off your uh, your Windows and, and Alt Tab keys, so that you're not actually going to oh. lose it. Le lose nice your for game. gamers. Nice yeah, for gamers. this is funk mode. So you hit down function, and then you turn on funk mode, and you can tell based <laughs> on, uh, over here on the side that funk mode. Funk's on. Funk, We've been funk funk, funk has been enabled, and then th that'll turn off um, when you turn uh, that off. Comes with a braided cord on the back, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, it's just kind of a the, uh, a nice accent kind of a. Probe. I like that. Mm -hmm. I, I Plus, do they don't tangle that way. Yeah. They don't tangle nearly as as much. Um, now it does come with a arm or a palm rest, and that's what on the front of this there are these little uh, things. They give you not only the palm rest, but uh, little connectors to connect it to the bottom of your keyboard. This, I gotta say, was pretty crappy. The palm rest is just a piece of plastic uh, that they've molded and added the uh, the sort of non-slick surface onto. But I found that whenever I would move the keyboard around, uh, this palm rest did, uh, it, it would rest against your palms, but anytime you try to move the keyboard, it flops around. Um, it would easily become, become detached if I was trying to, say, move something to get to the back ports or something like that. Uh, I found the palm rest to be really just uh, an annoyance more than something that I look forward to using. On the back, there are two USB pass-throughs, path which is really great because on the other end of this, there's only one USB uh, cord. Lots of times when there's a USB pass-through, on the other end of the cord, there'll be two or three USB ports to make sure that that's a perfect pass-through. This is not only, um, uh, it's basically, it's working as USB hub instead of a pure pass-through, which I really, really liked instead of um, <laughs> needing to wire in a, and using up a second USB uh, port. Now this is a gaming keyboard, so uh, they offer software and gaming features with that software, like adding your macro keys. Uh, you, ca you can do up to 10 macro keys per profile. You have five profiles, so that's essentially 50 different macro keys. Their software is okay. Uh, it's not the best. I've, there's a lot of competition, and so there's some really good software when it comes to keyboard management. And this one's in the OK to fine category. It's not, it's not great. Uh, you have to like hit a key and then assign. Sometimes you can record and then assign and um, stuff like that. 
Uh, one nice feature is that this does have 128 kilobytes of memory on board on the keyboard, so uh. you can save those macros to the keyboard and then take your keyboard away. You don't need to uh, save that on the computer, and if you switch computers, you've lost all of your customizations. Uh, this does have uh, the in-key rollover, which means that you can press basically as many simultaneous keys as you want, and the operating system will see each of those key presses, uh, and so anti-ghosting, uh, that sort of stuff with the in-key rollover. Uh, there are media controls on the top for volume, up, down, play, pause, uh, skip, and next, and you activate those with a function key that's in between your alt and uh, uh, menu key over here. Um, the cord length is uh, six feet, so uh, 1.8 meters is uh, the length on the cord. And they also offer varieties of this in uh, US keyboard layout, French, German, Nordic, Russian, and UK layouts are available. So uh, for the pros of this keyboard, I really liked the USB uh, hub instead of just pure pass-throughs. I enjoyed that it was backlit. And I liked the palm, oh, and uh, the in-key rollover was uh, another great uh, feature. Now, for the cons, I'm going to say the palm rest really left something to be desired. Um, and uh, you can kind of see over here, this, this uh, uh, what do you call it, finish is nice, but uh, greasy fingers will leave mm -hmm. greasy stains on this type of, oh, it's a little hard to see, but... Uh, sort of greasy palms will create greasy smudges on, on the keyboard. Um, and uh, the cost is $122.79 uh, currently on Amazon. Retail MSR, uh, MSRP is $139.95, uh, something like that. Um, but Looks I like could a find nice it. keyboard. Yeah, I could find it on Amazon for $122. Yeah. Um, so uh, buy, try, don't buy for the Funk KB460. I'm going to give this one a buy. No reason you shouldn't buy it. I didn't find anything uh, wrong with it, and I was really impressed. And I love those Cherry MX Red switches. It, it is a little expensive. It's very expensive. Yeah. This but you category, get a lot of features for that. Yeah, this product carries a lot like the upper echelon, kind of higher tier Bluetooth speakers yeah. that they're always in the above $100 range. Yeah. Um, now, I want to talk a little bit about Cherry MX. We've gone on and on about right. a keyboard, but yeah. as long as we're talking... So Cherry MX is a physical mechanical switch. Yes. And sometimes and people mini. liken it to the old IBM keyboards, but they used a different technology called a buckling key, which is a little funkier yeah. than Cherry MX. Also, Cherry offers different feels. Did, can Definitely. you get all, all the different feels on that? Um, or? For this one, this which one is, is that? specifically red, the red switches. The red. And, so and those are the clicky ones? Yeah, these are clicky. So they'll, they'll do an audible sound. I'm going to pull the keyboard up to my mic so you can hear that they will click. Hear that click? Yeah. That, that's a click that's, that's built into the switch. Yeah. They offer brown switches, which are silent. silent. Yeah. Um, they don't add that click. Now, you're, you're still going to get a key keyboard press sound, but you're not going to get that physical people, click. People like the feel of these the uh, switches because... Uh, they're so tactile, and, and right. some say it makes you more accurate typer. It's better for your wrists, right. things like that. And the different colors are the different models. Kinds. And There's black, red, right. blue. And so this one is I, uh, 45 grams of, of what they call actuation force, which is the force to press the key do down. Do you like that? I mean, I know I admit I've, it's noisy, but do you like that? This feel? is my favorite switch. Yeah, the for red, gaming. Yeah. Uh, because it, the, it's a light press. It's not a, a, a moderate or hard right. press to get the key uh, to push down. Um, and some of them are too light. This one I find is my favorite uh, it just feels natural um, it yeah uh, the, the red ones are my favorite browns are good but because they're uh, a lot quieter we actually have another brown in the studio that we're reviewing um, really yeah we do we, we happen to have the the keyboard these are pro products for gamers and so that's why I can say yeah $120 is kind of normal they're definitely making a good margin off of it so there's a lot of competition in the space uh, for mechanical keyboards nowadays I have to get a buckling spring keyboard we'll compare we'll have a little right click off I just realized that there's this whole world there's of knowledge world. around keyboards <laughs> that I had no idea about until yeah. just now. Yeah. yeah. And the, the, the in-key rollover is another really big thing yeah. because some keyboards will not tell the operating system if you've pressed more than, say, five right. keys. They'll just 
it'll just stop. So right. if you're trying to do some crazy maneuver, X, X, y, 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 X, X, right, X, 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 X. where not only are you hitting, you know, W A to move forward and strife left, right. but you're hitting, you know, four to get your your th your you know gun out, and then you're also doing something else on the keyboard, like you hit a macro that's pressing five keys at once. All of that is really, really needed um, in a gaming keyboard. Right. So it's yeah. It's a serious topic, Jason. Please. It is. I know. Apparently, it is. Yeah. <laughs>